G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. Well, it's four weeks since I did the brood bump on the Cliperius hive and you can see the two hives here, the white one on the corner and the other box here which had the bump. And the first thing you've noticed is I've changed the position. And I've changed the position because Cliperius seem to like to see the morning sun. And that seems to uh, stimulate them to come out early. Quick look at the entrances and then we'll talk more about the hives. As you can see there, we'll block the bees going in and out. But you can actually see that they've started the external tunnel on the hive on this one and that's that's real good but if we go across to this one this one also they've totally oh the light's probably not exactly good but they've totally reduced the size of the entrance down to much smaller i think that comes through i hope it bloody comes through if it don't we'll come back and have another look so, you'll also notice that I've done some modifications to the existing hive. And to quickly summarise, what I have done is I've put thicker wood around the hive. That's to combat uh, climate change and, and cold spells and hot spells, give it better insulation qualities. I've got a nice thick base at the bottom to stop it being blown over in any wind. I've also made it vertical and the vertical nature is, is more akin to allow airflow to naturally progress up the hive like a chimney as these bees don't push through a lot of air. So as you can see I've made a number of modifications. Oh and as you noticed I've removed any um, plastic tubing at the entrance so the bees can actually make their own entrance. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk more about the brood bump and what were the results. Now, if you remember correctly, we moved the brood from the white hive to the box. And I was hoping to capture the queen and a new queen would start in this box. So what did happen? Well, believe it or not, I missed the queen. The original queen remained in this box. And so what happened in this box with the original queen in there? Well, they started immediately making new brood. And at four weeks, I can tell you that brood's almost ready to hatch. I can also tell you that I'm able to monitor how long it takes the bees to make different, uh, to reach different standards. So I'll pause it and open up the hive and show you. Okay, so in this hive design, as you can see there, I've unscrewed it. That's the side panel, if you like. Oops, got to get back a bit to get this. That's the side panel there. We take that off. We'll just place it there for the moment. You can see the box. It's got another cover on the inside to help stop the light. And here is the beehive. So... If you remember, it's easy to do it with the torch, three chambers, remember it was horizontal, that was the entrance down there, one, two, three chambers, the top one's still empty, notice the number of bees are way down because this has had four weeks with basically no new bees coming on, but what do you notice? Look there. That's where I removed the brood, and you can just see the new, because I left the queen behind, but behind, behind, you can see all the brood there creeping up the wall. And this is one of the reasons I think this hive vertically will be more productive, because Cliperius and a lot of tropical species like a lot of vertical structure in their brood. So with a nice high vertical wall, you can see what the Cliperus are doing. They're just running up the, the wall there, and they'll keep running up. I reckon they'll fill that whole chamber full of brood. 
You'll also note down here that I've got brood at the bottom that, that that was newly laid when I did the brood bump and you can see there hopefully with the light that it's lost the wax outer coating in other words it's turned into pupae ready to hatch that occurred in day round day 20 give or take I couldn't be dead Pacific but I'm being conservative at day 20 that happened I'm willing to predict these brood will hatch around day 40 not 50 like a lot of literature some honey pots up there and we've got a little patch of brood here creeping up as you can see down here now this brood I'm going to be using for a method called the brood lift method as opposed to the brood bump method I think you can see it there and I'm going to remove all that brood and use it in another hive and that'll allow this to be used for stores or whatever so as you can see there this hive just going gangbusters because it had the queen so I'll put you on pause again and we'll go open up the other hive okay this is the other hive entrance again just showing you that they have started you can just see it there the external tunnel the hoods starting to go up but we're going to go into this hive and have a look and see what happened here remembering I thought the queen came across but it didn't but I did move most of the brood across so what happened in here I'll put you on pause and as you can see there there's the brood mass but it's smaller than before uh, we'll do it that way heaps of stores oh I've got to get the light right hang on let me get around this way I might be able to do it better that looks better I'll get the torch you can see here firstly heaps of stores have been produced heaps also notice the entrance tunnel a massive tunnel has been built up like a chimney vertically just straight up and vertically and that I believe is to increase the airflow into the hive and there's more stores around here bloody heaps of stores look at it all this hive is powering but more importantly look over here and you will see that there is new brood being laid see it rising up in the corner there I'm trying to look at two things at once I don't know what comes through in this camera so I'll just do it at different lighting so you can see that all the old brood has been stripped if you look right there you can see two queen cells but don't have to worry about queen cells other queens there must be a queen in there because they've started laying new brood as you can see there and that new brood tells me that this hive has requeened from a queen cell somewhere in the hive just automatically requeened itself so this hive is now away which allows me to do other experiments so that's just damn good so both hives are away and successful <laughs>